All right, so we're on the water. I still see this big snook straight ahead of me. But back to talking about this paddle board. And walk around on this board. It's not gonna flip on you. You will fall off this board before it flips on you. Uh, this board can do a lot, but it is not at a cheap price tag. Hi everyone, I am going to do a in-depth review of my Live Water Sports or Live Water Sports L4 Expedition 14 foot paddleboard. I'm going to talk about the things I like, I love, uh, things I don't like as much, things I wish they did better, um, and the pros and cons of this board, how easy it is to transport it, how functional it is in the water, um, how wind and waves affect it, um, and if you have any particular questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to get back to them so you know the ins and outs of this paddleboard. Uh, we're gonna take it out on the water today and do a little field testing to show you guys some of the things I'm talking about uh, so you can see this paddleboard in the field itself. All right, so we're on the water. We're in some pretty good wind right now and the paddleboard is still dry. Uh, we're in a protected area but we're paddling into the wind. The paddleboard is staying pretty straight, pretty in line. And I don't have the fins on the bottom of this board because I want to be able to get shallow. If you put the fins on, you can have some more control of your direction, but you lose a lot of that um, ability to get very shallow. So I do not have the fins on um, and we're paddling just fine. Um, I'll show you just a little bit of the front of the board and how uh, you know, this stays pretty dry with, uh, you know, two people on it, a bunch of gear. All right, everyone, we are creeping around currently in probably five inches of water, maybe eight max. And you can see we still have plenty of uh, flotation with two people on this paddle board. It stays pretty dry. And uh, that's a really great um, feature of this paddle board. So something that is a pro about this paddleboard is I can comfortably fit my wife on here. And that's something a lot of other paddleboards you can't do. Um, it's also just, you know, a pro of the paddleboard is getting back into some really shallow water, some really narrow spots where you can't get your boat. That's where a paddleboard really excels in like really shallow waters or areas where you can't get your boat. And like that's the benefits of a paddleboard, like this little narrow mangrove path that we're taking. Um, say this was a shortcut to your favorite fishing spot. It's a great spot. And I do see a big snook straight ahead. So we're gonna see if I can get him. Yep, break left. Good job, babe. I still see this big snook straight ahead of me. Oh, and I spooked him. Eat it, don't spook. See him? Oh, <laughs> nice snook. Dark coloring. I got interrupted there by that nice snook, but um, we we're just gonna keep cruising along, see what we can find. Um, but back to talking about this paddleboard, it really does everything you want in shallow water. You can launch in places where you can't launch a boat. You can get to places you can't get a boat if it's too shallow, if it's too narrow. This paddleboard can really do anything. It's like a small skiff. Um, and being able to support two people is a huge pro for this paddleboard, this 14-foot board. A lot of other smaller boards you know, can't support that weight, or if they can, they're super tippy. So that's a big benefit of this board. Getting into a little spot out of the wind here. Some details about this board. Um, it is a 14 foot board, um, which comes with its own challenges. It is, you know, can be a pain to store. Um, hey, where are we going? But 14 feet, I believe it can hold some ridiculous weight, like 400 pounds of float weight. Um, and I think the board itself weighs 80 pounds. Um, I will include a table somewhere up here, maybe, that uh, has all the details for this board. Um, and 
you know, 14 foot board, it's not easy to store that. So you gotta have the space for that in your garage, in your house, outside, somewhere you're comfortable storing it. And, you know, while I'm talking, like I'm still looking for fish, trying to find dinner. Um, I am filming another video today for us trying to catch dinner. But, um, but as, as far as space, I mean, look at this board. Like we have all the space you can ask for. Um, I have, you know, our life jackets, fishing gear, a pregnant wife, um, and she's relatively comfortable. <laughs> but it's super spacious, especially if you have like kids, you want to take kids on the paddle board, you have plenty of space on this board for all of that. So as far as comfort, um, this is a pretty spacious board. Um, my wa wife is laying in front of me. Um, you know, we have her paddle and my paddle. Um, it's great for two people. Uh, it's extremely comfortable. We have plenty of clearance still um, for water. This board, this board can float like an obscene amount of weight. Um, so it's great for taking two people on it or a bunch of gear. Some people will throw little motors on here, little outboards or even little electric uh, motors. And it's just great for being versatile. It's something you can throw on the car and take most places, almost anywhere, get anywhere because it's so small compact and get in the bushes here but um but you can just get really shallow places where you can't get a boat and that's like a major plus of having a, like a paddle board like this another major pro of this board is it is a two pontoon system and that makes for a very stable board um you can stand on this board you can walk around on this board it's not going to flip on you. You will fall off this board before it flips on you. Um, and there's enough space on here that, you know, if you have ever stood on a paddle board, uh, I don't think they get much more comfortable than this board and more stable. All right, so I'm going to address some of the cons about this paddle board. One is going to be the price. And it's not a cheap board. If you're looking for an economical paddle board, it won't be this one. Uh, this board can do a lot, but it is not at a cheap price tag. I had mentioned earlier it is a 14 foot board. That takes up a lot of space in your garage, wherever you're storing it. Um, so space and storage and size is a con. To some people it's a pro and they won't think twice about it, but if you are trying to get a paddle board just for paddle boarding, for fishing, for out riding, storing a 14 foot board can be um, more than you're signing up for. Some people might not like the weight, um, but again, that comes with having a 14 foot paddleboard. So that's just kind of a little bit of a give and take. Besides that, like I grew up fishing a plastic uh, kayak and that thing could take some hits and it would not leave scratches or, um, or significant damage, but this is a fiberglass board. So if you don't baby it, um, you will get some nicks. And I have some on the board. Uh, for example, here's one. Um, things like that. This board also went through Hurricane Ian on Sanibel and it was, you know, trapped underwater or, or trapped under material. Um, so it got a little damage there and it held up pretty well. So I would say that it is a durable board, which is a pro. But as far as, you know, trying to store it, um, transport it, it's a pretty big board. And that might be like a, a con to a lot of people. So we're just kind of um, getting through a little creek here. My wife's just kind of guiding us through this little area um, and it's opening up now. But these are just, you know, some of the benefits of having a paddleboard. Uh, you can get to these areas. <laughs> we got a crab here right in front of us just kind of cruising along. But um, you can get to these areas. You can slow down, babe, too. This is really nice. You can get to these areas. You can be really stealthy. You can be really quiet. And you can't do that in a boat as easily. And it, it allows you incredible fishing opportunities. Um, and that's why I personally am a huge fan of this board. I can get into a few inches of water. I can bring a bunch of gear. Um, I can bring my wife, my dad. I can bring a, a second person with me. Um, and that just adds to the fun. Uh, and it is very stable. So like right now I'm standing, like, you know, I'm, I'm swinging side to side with my wife and like we're trying to tip this thing and it's just not going anywhere. So it's super stable. Um, it's just, it's just a great overall paddleboard. If you're 
okay to get past the price. I don't think there's another paddle board that really compares to this board, to this um, Live Water Sports paddle board. Um, unless you're going for something smaller and compact and lightweight. If those are important to you, then maybe an inflatable. But this paddle board really is like a solo skiff or just a small skiff that fits two people comfortably and you can throw it on your car and you can take it anywhere. So overall, I think it's the best paddle board you can get out there. Alrighty, wrapping up my day, did some fishing today. If you have questions about this Live Water Sports uh, paddleboard or other paddleboards, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to give my input and feedback on this board and on other boards. If you're getting out into paddleboarding, whether it's just for fun or for fishing, I'm happy to give you guys my comments or my opinions on, on things. It really comes down to how much you want to pay, how do you want to store it, and do you want a hardboard or an inflatable board? So, have a good one.